This is the first video in a series of videos where we will show the power of extended sites. We start with our Madison storefront and create a new product line called Madison's Wear. We will walk through the steps of reusing the base catalog and applying filters, rules, and e-marketing spots to the extended site to give the site its own visible items and a new look and feel. Let's go ahead and get started. Today I'm going to show you how we can take our current site, the Madison site, and extend it using the extended sites capability of WebSure Commerce. The new extended site is going to be our brand new clothing line called Madison's Wear. So this is our current site, it's the Madison's uh, website, and it's got all of our different categories of things you can buy. So let's go ahead and get started and add our new clothing line. All right, here's the store. So what we've done is it looks just like the other store right now. And you can see it has the Madison's Wear. We're going to go ahead and change the logo. And then we're going to go ahead and filter this catalog to only show the clothing line. So to replace the logo, what we've got to do is a couple things up front. The first thing we have to do is we have to create a brand new asset and for the brevity of this video, I've gone ahead and done that since it's pretty trivial. And here it is. And we can open it up. And if we pick a file, it uploads it and then saves it off. So that's our asset. And now what we have to do is go and create um, some content so that asset can be used throughout the store. So we'll come in here and we'll go to uh, the content list and we will create some new content and we will name it Madison's Wear Logo. And what we want to do is just simply search for our logo inside of the attachment section and there it is. Then we can just drag and drop this over there and that is the associated asset for this content. And then we can save and close that. Now what we want to do is we want to find the e-marketing spot for the base logo. And it's all the way down at the bottom. And we could probably search logo, but I know where it is. It's store logo e-spot. So we can open this up. And what we want to do is for the default content for the Madison's Wear site, we want to go ahead and uh, put our new content in there. So we can come in and search for a logo. And here we go, Madison's Wear logo. We drag and drop it over into the list. And now that becomes the default logo for our site. And we can save and close that. And now we can actually launch the site to preview our new logo. Yep. And there it is. And currently it's just the Madison's Wear logo with a new wear underneath it. So let's go ahead and start working with the catalog. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're gonna, inside of the uh, Webster Commerce Management Center we're going to go ahead and create a new catalog filter. So inside of the Management Center, we're going to click Catalog Filtering and Pricing. We're going to select our store, which is our new Madison's Wear line. And we're going to Catalog Filters. Now this is the default filter, which basically all the different uh, items are in. We're going to go ahead and create a new filter. And we're going to call it apparel only. And that's all we're going to do is right click and we're going to exclude everything, but then we're going to include the apparel. And that's it.
our last step is to go back into the Webster Commerce Accelerator. And what we have to do is we have to assign that filter to the base contract for our new site. So we'll click the Madison's Square, go under Merchandise, Catalog, Filter, and Price Rule. And basically what we choose here is our apparel only filter as the default filter for this site. And that's it. Let's go ahead and check our site out. And here we have it. This is our new Madison's Wear store. It's the new published uh, version of the stripped down catalog, our, our new icon, and you can see it only includes apparel. And now we can start populating this catalog with new apparel and new marketing campaigns uh, specific for this site. Okay, thank you very much and uh, stay tuned for the next demo. Be sure to visit uh, planetwebster.net for everything Planet Webster from jobs, feeds. Uh, you can see here we offer 57 feeds aggregated from the world of Websphere. Go to planetwebster.net today. And also make sure you take some time to visit my blog where I write about all kinds of different things about software and software related uh, technologies. Uh, I primarily focus on things like Java, WebSphere, Eclipse. So go ahead and check that out too. Thanks a lot.